Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today marks day 3 of our Christmas 12 days of Christmas makeup looks. And today for day 3 we are going to be doing Christmas belts. Yes, you've probably seen a short video on this. But today we are going to do the step by step Christmas makeup tutorial. And not only that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed okay for now what i'm actually doing is that i already primed my face with uh, my garnier charcoal serum i actually used it just uh, for skincare and then on top of that i have put on the maybelline fit me primer and that is their mattifying primer because i want this to have a really matte face essentially okay and after we've applied our primer thoroughly um, because I'm going to jazz up my eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glued uh, Styling Gel as a gel, eyebrow gel. I just want to stick down my eyebrows basically. So I'm going to stick them down. So I've combed through them and then I'm going to stick them down and then I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation on them. Now this foundation is slightly lighter than my skin tone so it's okay because I want it, you know, I want the eyebrows to look like that. So I'm just applying that the foundation on top of my eyebrow. So after applying that uh, foundation, because we want to cover up the eyebrows completely because we'll be drawing in some fake eyebrows, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender just to make sure that it is evenly distributed and evenly coated. And then after using the damp beauty blender to, you know, pat in that foundation, I'm going to take this uh, Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I'm just going to set that area so that there'll be no creasing of those eyebrows. And then we are good to do to go. We are basically now ready to um, to draw our eyebrows and I wanted some candy cane inspired eyebrows. And because I want some candy cane inspired eyebrows, that's why I decided to start the eyebrows from scratch. So what I'm doing right now is that I am just mapping out the shape of the eyebrows that I want uh, using a brown pencil. And after drawing that shape is when we are going to fill in the candy cane shape. Now that we are done with our candy cane eyebrows and they turned out so well, we are going to color correct any dark spots on our face. And if you are my shade of color, an orange color corrector is perfect for you. So I've just put the orange color corrector on my spots and blended it in using a damp beauty blender. Those two are the foundations that we are going to be using. So we are going to be using the Rimmel Kind and Free Foundation, which is a very lightweight foundation. And we are also going to mix it with the Maybelline uh, Superstay Full Coverage Foundation because I feel like the full coverage foundation is usually really, really thick. So at least that Trimmel Kind and Free Foundation 
is going to you know neutralize that thickness and as you can see it turned out so well so we've just uh yeah, go on to the next step, which is essentially the concealer. So for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and that is the shade Cafe, which is number 50. And I'm just using it to brighten my under eyes, around my mouth, and also my forehead. So I'm just using a flat brush to uh, blend all that in. And then after the flat brush, the usual, we use the Damp Beauty Blender. So I normally don't use two beauty blenders in any makeup routine. So I'll just change the sides and use whatever side is still clean in one makeup look. Okay, we have now contoured our nose and I'm also going to use uh, the NYX uh, highlighter stick to you know highlight my nose and then because i want really bright under eyes you know that is my favorite thing nowadays i'm going to be using this maybelline superstay concealer and it is a brighter shade than the first concealer that i used and i just want to use it also as an eyeshadow primer so it will act as a base for my eyeshadow and also to brighten my under eyes further for the makeup So to set the concealer that I applied under my eyes and around my mouth and on my forehead, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me uh, setting powder. That's the shade cappuccino that I'm using. And then while that concealer sets, we'll just leave the powder on there. I'll be doing my eyeshadow and I've just used two shades of eyeshadow. The dark brown that you're seeing on the outer corner of the eye and the very light bronze uh, shimmery that you're seeing in the inner corner of the eye so those are the only two shades of eyeshadow that I used and then I'm going to be tight lining my waterline using this Zaron Cosmetics eyeliner and then I'm also gonna apply a dark brown eyeshadow just below my lower waterline and that is it for the eyeshadow I feel like this eyeshadow look is very festive also it's very simple but very very festive and then I'm going to be removing the excess setting powder that I applied to set my concealers. So I'm just going to remove it from all over my face before I proceed to the next step, which will be drawing the jingle bells. And I think that is the my favorite part of this uh, entire makeup look. Now, this is just a fun makeup look. Mm. Yeah, it was tedious, but I think it's fun. But I'm not completely done with the eyeshadow, so I'm just going to apply like a really shimmery, silvery shade in my inner corner of the eyes just to make sure that my eyes are popping. And then I'm going to do blush. So this is the She Glam uh, blush, liquid blush. And I'm just going to, this is the shade Devoted, which is like a peachy color. And I'm just going to apply it like in the W shape, which is like on the bridge of my nose and on my cheekbones and on my actual cheeks and i'm just going to use a brush because i've already applied so much makeup um i'm just and i'm applying this blush on top of makeup i'm just going to use a bla a brush but now i'm just confusing blush and brush so a brush I'm going to use a brush to tap in that blush because I've applied it on top of a lot of makeup. So I won't be using any beauty blender. And as you can see, it's just a very subtle color. And then now we're going to draw the outline of the bells first. I prefer to do that. There are some people who just paint. But I prefer to draw the shape of the outline of like the holy and the Christmas bells first. And then afterwards, I'll just fill in like the color 
and you know do further contouring and highlighting of the drawing and yeah let's wait and see so i'll see you at the end of the video when this makeup look is fully complete um i think my voice will end here unless i have to talk about my lips which definitely i will talk about my lips so i'm just string the belts as you can see So it's me again I'm back so it's time for the lips and for lips we are going to do um, a brown lip pencil as usual that's normal for me and then for the lipstick I'm going to be using this Maybelline sensational lipstick and this is the shade to the fullest and then I will just make sure that it's completely dry and then although it doesn't really dry down then I'll add this Fenty Beauty gloss balm this is the shade cheeky so and this is our final look guys if you're not yet subscribed make sure to like comment and subscribe <laughs> 